It's time for the one that started it all. Or the remake of the remake of the one that started it all. But wasn't there a prequel now, so it's not technically what started it all? Yeah. I, I generally try to prefer Zero doesn't exist when I, I'm not looking at it. Well, we're not. <laughs> Welcome to the LP. Uh, I'm Flame Drake, you know. Uh... So, uh, in Resident Evil 1, you get to play as Chris Redfield or Jill Valentine. I've heard of them. They're in the movies. Yeah. That's basically all there is to them. Submachine gun again. They're, they're cops, basically. Works for me. The mansion incident. That was the night I led the Star's Alpha team into the Arklay Mountains, and we touched down in the surrounding woods. We were to look into the disappearance of Brotho team. At least, that was the fate. The reality was quite a different story for the unsuspecting members of the Alpha team. After being attacked by a pack of monsters, only Chris and a few others, including myself, made it to the mansion. Everything was going according to plan. Soon, I would have the research data that I needed. What is this hall? What was that? I'll go check it out. It's dangerous going alone. I'll come with you. All right. I will stay and secure the area. Oh my god, a zombie. No, we're too late. Wait, too late for what? Uh, to save that guy. What's going He's on? Kenneth? I think his name's Kenneth. Well, okay, so... Didn't really explain it, but, uh... Chris and Jill are basically... They're part of a SWAT team, except they didn't want to call it SWAT. So they called it Stars. Mm -hmm. uh, sp special tactics and rescue something. Squadron. Something like that. I don't know if it, is SWAT copyrighted. What are these things? Um, it might be trademarked. Whatever. Yeah, I I think it may just be a case of litigious. How do you think they pay for tanks? Anyway, there's about twenty times more zombies in this hallway than there were. The original. I was going to say, this mansion seemed hella crowded. This is one room. Yeah, and there's, there's, uh, I think one bathroom. Something isn't right. Oh, Wes Wesker ditched? Who would have seen that coming? Like, e even if you don't know, it's just... Yeah. That guy is not trustworthy. Locked. And he locked the door. You. So wait, why is he shouting behind you when you're Chris? Uh, because they only recorded one set of voices for the level. Wow. I mean, it... It is Please, behind her, good. too. They're we just sort of assumed going. to be standing we'll next to each other and... Like, 100% of the time. I guess. Art room is full of 
uh, things guns. on the wall. Holy crap. And guns, yeah. <laughs> Fucking Slade Wilson's mansion. <laughs> So many of them. You're you're supposed to. Uh, when you're exploring the mansion, there's usually locked doors in the place everywhere, sort of funneling you where to go. Or mm -hmm. And uh, that's yeah, they just sort of got rid of that entirely. So we're just wandering the halls at random? Yeah, for example, this door is locked. Uh, Jill has a lockpick, so she can go through right away. Chris has to find a key. I'll check huh. It out. That's kind of interesting. Yeah. Basically, Chris's game is always do what Jill does, except it's a bit more of a pain. Hey, those guys were outside the mansion. Yep. Dog hallway still has dogs. Wait, it's actually called Dog Hallway? Well, I call it that. I think it was one of the first jump scares in video games, probably. One of the most popular ones, at least, yeah. Definitely, yeah. Oh, also, that door was destructible. Uh, nice. I was going to show it off, and then I accidentally knocked the zombie into it. And it blew up. I don't know. Hmm. That's the bathroom. It's got some guns in it. Because why not? What in this house doesn't have guns? We're going to hide guns in the <laughs> bathroom, the hallway full of art. It's not even the places you'd expect <laughs> either. No, it's like behind this painting, inside this cabinet. And like all the places you don't want kids to be. <laughs> There's no kids in this mansion. Just put the guns wherever. It'll be fine. <laughs> I, I like how that animation ended up coming out. Like, this guy was running to his friend's defense. <laughs> no! I'm too late. Damn it, Jimmy! Well, finish me too. They keep busting through windows two seconds too late. <laughs> also... Watch as this guy materializes out of nowhere. <laughs> There's a few of those like that, but I don't know, that seems especially bad. He jazz hands around the corner, how could that be bad? <laughs> Just take a moment to pose dramatically. You know, that's not even the most egregious posing we've seen. No, not by far. So, uh, one thing, weird thing, is uh, a lot of the doors in this level are destructible, mm -hmm. and it saves you, like, a second, because you blow them up and then just go through them instead of opening them. I don't know. And don't mind me. <laughs> oh, my God. If you don't do that, I don't trust you. Oh man, it's a redhead again. Oh yeah, so uh, the crimson heads. I was I was actually going to talk about that before. Uh, I I don't know why they set this up like this because you knock them down with a shotgun and then just like keep going for like a minute. But uh, no, the way that works in the original game, well, in the remake, is if you. Sh if you blow the zo if you blow a zombie's head off, uh, then it doesn't come back. Uh, otherwise, uh, the bodies stay where they are after you kill them, and mm -hmm. then you can uh, come you can come back later. Uh, there's a lighter that's an item. Chris is Chris actually has that as his default item. Huh. And uh, you also need some oil. You soak you soak them in oil and then light them. But uh, there's very limited supplies of oil, and you can only carry, I think, two uses of it at a time. So you sort of have to pick and choose, like, which hallway am I going to come back to? Can what am I, I going to keep clear? Yeah. 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 
I believe this room had a puzzle where uh, you have to push. Yeah, you had to push statues onto. Uh, Pressure plates. Well, no, onto some grates on the floor. Hmm. And then push the button, and then the poison gas doesn't come out of them. What? Otherwise, there's poison gas, and you get hurt. Oh, oh, it comes out of the grates. Okay. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. What am I saying? That makes sense. <laughs> Relatively. Also, I... I guess I was wrong. There seem to be two of them in the, uh... Actually, at least all of the Resident Evil 1 levels, they have two QTE moments. That's hmm. the only time the knife was ever useful. I don't know, the bats... the bats counted. Or the leeches. The leeches. Yeah. Well, I, in Code Veronica, it was kind of useful, but I'm not convinced that wasn't a glitch. <laughs> what? I, I guess I'll find <laughs> out later, but... Yeah. And I believe... yep, birds. Holy crap. They're, they're like... they're exactly the bats, but easier to hit. I, I'm just still kind of amazed by the fact that we've got crazy, uh new animals showing up still. Also, you just shot that man's dick off to kill him. Well, I mean, it's... He certainly doesn't need it anymore. I guess, but you shot his dick so hard he died. Contact with Bravo team? <laughs> no, I can't reach them. Let's look for survivors. There. Oh, that is destructible. I blew up the door and... I, I don't know. <laughs> Saved me like a second and a half, so... Damn, it works. <laughs> and yeah, that dog teleported out of nowhere. Those dogs do not have the highest hit rate on you. Mostly because when they take up the entire screen, shooting anywhere seems to kill them. Yeah, and it's like half a second's worth of delay before it actually hits you. It's weird. Forest. Oh no, not forest. Not like this. Was forest the guy getting munched on at the start? Nope. Okay, so we've just... I've just never met him? Yeah, at never. You, th this is the only time you ever meet him. He's, you just Sorry, find him. I'll miss our target practice you just used him for target <laughs> practice! <laughs> you just find him on a balcony and he's already dead and sometimes wow. he comes back. I don't know. Dogs have always been really easy to kill. Like... Alright, right, Michael Vick. Usually you shoot them, and uh, even in the original game, you shoot them and it just falls, and then takes a, a good five or ten seconds to regroup. That was seriously just a <laughs> shotgun on the floor! <laughs> Maybe somebody was using it, and then now they're a zombie. This is literally a KC Green comic at this point. <laughs> well, can't find my shotgun. Let's just make 500 more and leave them everywhere. <laughs> Back uh, in Resident Evil 2, they actually made an excuse for why uh, why there was just ammo everywhere. Oh? Instead of in the ammo dump. Basically, one character is just a total whack job, and he did it for very sketchy security reasons. <laughs> he just <laughs> hid guns all over. Isn't that the one that takes place in town? Uh, yeah, that, that's actually in a police station, so. Oh, okay. Well, you know, I can't argue that one because I played Parasite Eve where the same thing happens. <laughs> oh, they, they actually had, like, a. Parasite Eve had a secured gun lockup. It's true. I remember getting the key. It's not just like a grenade launcher in the cabinet, a thing that actually happens in Resident Evil 2. Wait, what? Oh my god. Whatever, there's there's guns everywhere. You need guns. <laughs> That's still just kind <laughs> of crazy to me. Oh, hey, so that counterattack animation that Chris does? Yeah. That's actually based on... Uh, his counterattack in the remake. 
Oh, nice. Uh, they each get a... Chris and Jill both have uh, weapons that uh, they can pick up, which do not go in the slot, and if a zombie is attacking you, you can hit a button to counter it if you so choose. Neat. Why would you choose not to? Uh, because you don't have enough of them. Oh, okay. So they're consumable, gotcha. Yeah. I thought it was just like, you have some melee slot. What was that? Let's check it out. There's a snake. Yeah. <laughs> Those proportions are hilariously off. It's, wow, it's a big snake. What in the hell? It's a big snake with baby eyes. Even if they aren't, if that's oh yeah, because it's a precious little baby doll. Come on. <laughs> oh, jeez. So we're fighting a giant rattlesnake in the library. Yeah, it's... I, I don't know what kind of snake it's supposed to be. It's not. It doesn't really seem to be anything in particular except big. That's true. I also don't see a rattle on it, so I'm wrong there. It does poison you in the original game, so it's venomous. Huh. It does not poison you here, thank God. Well, probably because you don't have an inventory. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Thanks, Jill. This one's tougher than I expected. How many giant snakes have you fought to have an expectation? Well, I mean, th he's been fighting zombies for at least eight minutes now. Okay, okay. But yeah, this fight is basically just uh, figure out when he's going to open his mouth and take advantage of that. I'm beginning to think the, uh, the boss fights in this game might not be very good. Well, it's... Maybe not so... Maybe not as great to watch. Uh, it's... It's really not, uh, that big of a pain in the ass. And, yeah, that was real threatening. Just open up your weak point to me, thanks. Oh, no, it's, it's <laughs> mostly just, like... Like I said in one of the earlier videos, I've just been playing House of the Dead Overkill, so I've got a comparison in mind right <laughs> now. Yeah. This one, obviously, it doesn't really have very many attacks, because it's a snake. That's true. I suppose I should wait <laughs> until we see something with limbs. And I'm actually kind of... I was actually kind of stalling so that I could uh, show off this part. Oh, cool. Because... You want to drop a chandelier on it, don't you? Yes, I do. I just figured out where you're going with that. The chandelier. And that's enough. Nice. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. Chris Redfield, from Alpha Team. Alpha Team? Thank goodness! Everything's okay now, Richard. Man, you are covered in scary amounts of blood, little girl. <laughs> Everything's totally fine, Richard. Just, just sit there and bleed out, I guess. I don't know, you're fine. God, six files is a B. Yeah. Oh, a lighter and a lockpick. Yep, there we go. Just like I was saying. Neat. Yeah, four S's and a B gives you an A. That's so mean. Ugh. Oh, profiles of all those people that, uh... <laughs> Cerberus notes. Yeah, they populated the entire stars team. Also, we unlocked a Rebecca scenario. Oh, man. Yeah, they created the whole team and then killed off all but four, five of them before the game starts, pretty much. I'm also including a character who does not appear in this game. 
So you're saying Stars is sort of a suicide squad? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, ju just for the record, there's a character, Barry. He's awesome. He does not appear in this game. I think Barry was in the films. Uh, so we do have the Rebecca scenario, but we're just going to go ahead and keep on with Mansion Incident 2. Sure. Enjoy. Enjoy.